Welcome to another informational Last Day on Earth video, and in this one we're going to be taking a look at the metal pipe. During this video we'll take a look at the best mods to equip on the pipe, we'll do a bit of a comparison between it and the machete, and we'll also take a look at some use case scenarios for the metal pipe. So the metal pipe is actually a pretty easy weapon to craft. Its crafting requirements are a bit higher than say a crowbar or a cleaver, but it is a good bit cheaper than something like the machete. And you can also find metal pipes in quite a few locations inside of the game, so you don't need to constantly be crafting these things. One thing about the base level of the metal pipe is that even when you sneak attack fast biters, they are left with 2 HP, so it's not really a satisfying weapon to use against lower level zombies unmodded, but we'll take a look at how we can make this thing a bit more interesting. The metal pipe only has two mod slots, but if you take the time to get both of these mods and craft them, you can turn this thing into a completely different weapon, and this is actually one of my favorite weapon looks inside of Last Day on Earth. And the nice thing about the best mods for this weapon is that they are both rare class weapon mods, so they're not too difficult to get. And as far as the stats go, they balance each other out very well, and they provide the best return on your investment. As far as getting those big bones for the big one bone attachment there, all you need to do is kill the Ravager or the blind one a couple times and you'll eventually get enough of those. Now the metal pipe is a great wall tricking weapon. It is a bit slower, but as you can see here in hard mode of bunker alpha, you can still dole out a good bit of damage against this floater bloater. And you can also attack enemies head on with it. Now when compared to a fully modded machete, the machete is a bit quicker and you're going to deal a bit more damage per hit. But if we take a look at the crafting requirements of these two, the machete does require a good bit more resources to craft and it's not really worth it for the performance that you'll get from those extra resources. If you're enjoying this video, please consider dropping a like on this video or subscribing as I upload a good bit of Last Day on Earth. And I did do a durability test between a fully modded metal pipe and a fully modded machete against the blind one and some follow-up hard mode. And as you can see, the metal pipe actually has a good bit more durability than the machete. The machete just performs a little bit better. That's the trade-off that you get. And one of the nice things about the metal pipe is all you need to do to get both of its best mods are open up the farm chest, and the machete's best mods actually include a purple mod one, so that's actually more difficult to come by. As far as using the metal pipe, like I said before, just use it in higher tier resource zones or use it for wall tricking. I wouldn't really recommend crafting it. I would just use maybe a fully modded cleaver if you've got that option or a crowbar most of the time. But it is a nice step up from those weapons if you have the extra resources lying around. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more weapon mod infographics or information on Last Day on Earth, check out the Pressing X website and consider checking out the LD Weelog playlist that I've got here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching this video and have yourself a great day.